Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the brand new series of Jack 2. Recently, we have completed Jack and Daxter on the channel and it was super fun. I enjoyed it immensely. But to be honest, I'm one of those few people that Jack 2 and 3 were more interesting to me. Jack 1 is definitely a really, really well-made game and I'm sure many people like it more than Jack 2 and 3 because Jack 2 and 3 are more story-driven. And... Um, yeah, the world is more Grand Theft Auto-like rather than an open-world platformer collect-a-thon. But for me personally, I was ready for that when I was that age. I was playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City and I was like, Jack 2, it plays like Vice City. I want to play it. And it's my favorite cartoon characters with my favorite, uh, what, what is he, a weasel? An ocelot? Who knows? Whatever he is, Daxter's jumping around, he turned on the game, and now we are going to start the game. So, uh, well, the last time we ended off, we created stuff. We're going to do game, I guess we'll be game two. Uh, we did we did stuff. We did 100% completion of the first game. This game, I don't plan on getting the Platinum Trophy. I just plan on beating it because that's the kind of For thing it is. Age, I square a title with subtitles. Of oh, okay. Here we go. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. Nice. The plants braved fast winds before they Look at that. We're back in Jack 1. Life. As a sage of considerable years, I have Oh my... Okay, do you see that gate, guys? That's the gate that we needed 101... Or 100 power cells for. From last time. And apparently, they built a car. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Alright, Kira, I'm glad you're so good with machines. precursor ring. I just hope he didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. So we had to move all this stuff from the last area of Jack 1? Don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great. Yeah, we know. There was a whole game about it. It was called Jack and Daxter. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make them work. And Jack is still special. He he has this connection with the with the precursor artifacts. It appears to be reading out some Preset coordinates. Oh boy. Wow. Look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. Okay, looks like we made a mistake. So this is how it happened. Holy crap. So we created a gate, but that gate is now letting in plague to our world. So we basically, the Jack 1 universe is dead. Like, whoever was there is gone, so we're going to have to travel to another universe, I guess. I don't know where we're going, we're just traveling. Maybe they we're going to another space-time continuum, maybe we're going to just another planet, maybe? I don't know. We're, we're using the rift we built with our 100 power cells, and here we are. Holy crap. With a bunch of people running around, Daxter lived, Jack lived, Kira and Samos kind of got knocked off into a different area. Hopefully they're still in the same universe as us, if this is a different universe. Okay. I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap. Stop it, last time. Okay, Step what's, what's up? Animal. Forget the rat. The Baron wants well, him. Hello, I'm the nice Jack. I'm a little boy. Been waiting for you. And now you know this game's gonna be darker. <laughs> okay, Daxter says he'll save us. It's been two years. This is one hell of an opening. This cute character from Jack and Daxter 1, this cute kid. Uh, that just wanted to learn how to use precursor stuff is now being tortured with dark eco injections. This one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Price. Literally being tortured. The dark warrior program has failed. You should at least be dead with all the dark eco I've So our our little boy Jack has now been pumped with dark eco. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not. Remembered as the man who lost this city to those Dude, you already lost creatures. half your face. Move forward with the final plan. And finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ooh. 
I think that guy wants to do something else to me. Ding ding, third floor. Body chains, roach food, torture devices. Hey, buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa, what'd they do to you? Jack, it's me, Daxter. That's a fine hello. I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail. Ooh. Literally. Daxter, you don't step you. there. I've been looking for you for two years. Say something. Just this once. I'm going to kill Praxis. His first words. Right now, we got to get you Beautiful. out. Beautiful. After a whole game, we finally get to hear Jack's first words. And it's creepy. We're playing Sonic Unleashed. Easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's Except good. Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss oh, you off. Oh, says piss you off. Okay, this game's ready to T for T. I hope all of you people watching are teenagers or above. Put them on. And Daxter brought us some new threads that make us fit into the city. Yay, now we have a save thing. So, this is Jack 2, everybody. Really, really messed up world. Uh, yeah. So, the the, the silent Jack we once knew is now talking. Uh, he was tortured for two years while Daxter was trying to save him. There's a whole game on that called Daxter. I don't have a PSP, so I'm sorry. I will not be playing that. Alert. I heard it was a good game, though. Uh, as you can see, Precursor Orbs still exist, but they're not. There's no collectibles in this game anymore. This game is an a uh, an action story game, so you want to get through the story. There's platforming involved. It's fun. We're gonna go up here. Uh, there's some boxes here. You can use that to get some dark eco and some health. You just got your basic platforming. You still have your circle to get yourself a little bit of extra air. So it's like they took the platforming controls from the Collectathon Jack and Daxter and created a whole story around it with a whole bunch of other controls and stuff and, and creepy stuff. But it's awesome, guys. I'm so excited to be playing this. All right, soldier. Yep, and Jack's a murderer. So now in this day and age, Jack is not his normal self. He is a murderer. He's not just killing animals and talking to villagers. He's killing police officers. Admittedly, jerk police officers that torture citizens, but police officers. Or maybe they don't tor torture citizens, but they did torture Jack, and he's... I guess he would be an immigrant because he's from a different dimension, universe? That We're still not clear on that. So we're going to go over here, and jump over here, see this soldier get some dark eco in us. Yeah, no, this is easy. I like using those attacks. Now, for this one, you're allowed to fall down here, and I think you get a Precursor Orb. I'm not going to collect all the Precursor Orbs because they're annoying and boring, but I am going to find them when I find them. Let's go ahead and do a roll jump. In this game, the controls are a little bit tighter, so it's easy. You don't even need a roll jump, technically. You can just do what I just did there. Okay, here I recommend rolling in general. Yep, let's get this Precursor Orb. Because they're trying to shoot you from the floor beneath you, and they can hit you. I've been hit many times, but I'm just going to dodge roll. Yep, I know how to do that. Fun, right? I know how to break Some lots of things. Alright, let's aim in there. There we go. There we go. The uppercut counts as two hits in one, so these enemies that take two hits die instantly. Oh yeah, we're skating! Woohoo! I love games that let you skate. Alright, so let's see. We're kind of in the murky depths now. This is creepy. This is very creepy. Hey, there's a precursor orb down there. That's just happened to be there. Wow. Gonna go ahead and go this way now. Where do I... Where do I go? That way? Oh, there's a precursor orb. Okay, there's another one over here. Uh, you collect these to unlock uh, secrets and, you know, like, Easter eggs, if you want to do those. Uh, cheats. Yeah, you unlock them to unlock cheats. And they are fun cheats, so I recommend doing it, but... You don't need that many precursor orbs for the good ones. Get that Baron guy, all right. Yeah, Baron Praxis, the jerk. Alright, so these are your new villagers. These look kind of like the villagers, like the fishermen from the first game. But, um, yeah, don't kill them. Because now they're killable. Hello, old man. Hello, strangers. My name okay, you're a little pushy, old man. May I hope you look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. He's new to the whole... I know, this is Jack's first time talking, and now he's a jerk. Angry young friend, I have a reason to be angry. Of his majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls well, aren't you deep. us both. We are all his prisoners. 
Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh boy. I'd move on, if I were you. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis. Everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die. Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Or yeah. Die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Interesting. So the guards are just going to kill everybody in this sector, huh? That's their that's their way of doing things. Well, luckily it's easy to kill. Oh my god, I'm Dark Jack. Yes! Yes, Dark Jack is the funnest thing to play as. You have, like, this auto-tracking on enemies. You fly around the room like crazy. It's, it's nothing like Sonic Unleashed. It's actually fun to do this. There's no dumb combo system. It's just press square, circle, X, do your thing. Do it again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control. So he was able to control green eco, blue eco, yellow eco, and red eco, but now the dark eco is taking control of him. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of Yeah, a little scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. All right, so I guess we're. It's okay that we killed a bunch of cops. Must get this boy to safety. Hey, what about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. The slums. Find a dead end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Sounds like that. Hey, that guy in the background looked like he was watching us. Is he there? Hey, you. No watching us. Um, this is a Grand Theft Auto, guys. So you could steal stuff. I'm gonna steal this guy's car. We. Yay! And these uh, these are hover vehicles, just like the Zoomer in Jack One, except uh, more modernized. So this is kind of weird. I guess the Zoomer that Kira built wasn't so special because there's a bunch of different models for it. Uh, this is pretty easy to control. The turning depends on what Zoomer you're using. If you run into someone, you would kill them. So be very careful. They usually jump out of the way, but it's not always. If you run into a cop, the, it's just like Grand Theft Auto. Every cop in the city will come after you. You'll have a wanted level, but it's not... Oh, God, I have a wanted level. You can hear it in the music. All right, and you can see it in the map in the corner. So we're going to have to get out of here. Hello, everybody. Well, well, hello there. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Core sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new... Like, you used to... Yeah. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the How did you hear about city? me so quickly? You know... Big in the wrong side. I literally got here in less than a minute Unhealth. or two minutes. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? Okay. Is there a circus? Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. That's a nice knife. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then maybe we'll talk. Okay, Torn, nice to meet you. Uh, hello, lady. Um, You're kind of short. Torn, you're kind of tall. I'm going to go do what you said because apparently that's what we want to do. We want to follow orders. So this Torn guy, he's the leader of the resistance maybe? I don't know. He's Well, I think the Shadow's the leader, so I guess he's a member of the resistance. Um, and he told us that if we want to join the resistance, we got to go to the... go. To, oh, God, I hit somebody. I don't think they died though, so that's why there's no cops after me. Killing civilians does send the cops after you. Um, killing or Hurting cops sends the cops after you. Touching cop cars to send the cops after you. It's pretty weird. Think of it like Grand Theft Auto mixed with Jack and Daxter, but they took away the collectathon uh, factor of it. So we're going to be going to this area over here. Oh god, the car's going to blow up. We have a health bar in this game, but since we've been, it's been two years and we've been filled with Dark Eco, our health bar is bigger. I think a lot better, uh, bigger than the first game. So we can take more hits now. Jack has grown up. He still has all of his old moves, which I love because these moves have such good control on them. And here we are. Uh, hello there. Goodbye there. So these things look kind of like lurkers from the first game or creature creatures from the first game. So we're going to have to kill them. They all drop dark eco. So make sure you pick up the dark eco. That way you can get some or get, get some of it. The dark eco will build up. And once you have a full bar, you can turn into dark jack whenever you feel like it. And becoming dark jack is OP. You'll basically win any fight. Well, maybe not early on, but you will win any fight. Okay, so if you don't kill these frogs that take two hits first, or whatever these things are, if you don't kill these monsters that take two hits, then you're going to take damage because they'll stick out their tongue and hit you and it'll do damage. It's really creepy. Kind of scares me a little bit. These green ones are easy, though. They, they're one-hitters. You just, bam, dead, bam, dead. 
Where's the next one? I want to show everybody. I want to show everyone how easy that is. You, come here. Boom. Oh, if I knock them off. Oh, okay. I still get the dark eco. Good. Let me go over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. I killed like eight of these things. So now we're going up here. Oh, crap. Got to be careful. Some of the environment is destructible. But this is just a pla uh, this is still just a platformer, guys. It's very easy to control. It feels it, the control feels really good too. Like everything feels solid. The first game it was a l it was really good as well, but it was kind of I mean it was good. It was a little bit uh, finicky on some parts, but th th this one feels better. The first one was good. This one's great. That's why I should be saying. There we go. Jump up here, and we made it to the flag already. Oh yeah, the, the victory music and Daxter's dancing! Oh, wait. Music ended. It was destructible environment. Oh crap. Whoa! Daxter! Your balls! Your little furry balls! And we also destroyed an entire... Is that gonna be cool with you, Torn, or are we going to jail for that? Yeah, I guess you guys are in. All right, so we made it. We are now part of the underground. Heck yeah. Uh, but just because we're part of the underground doesn't mean that we get teleported back to where the underground is. We actually have to walk back there. Kind of lame, but we can do it. Just got to figure out where we are. All right, so it's like right here. Yeah, let's just zoom, do this, do this. I'm going to go a little faster because I don't like to dilly-dally here. Ow. You see there, we have eight bars of health. That took two damage, though. But still, 8 bars of health is pretty good. Now we have 4 bars, which was the max amount we could have in Jack 1. Well, there we go. We have twice the health we had in Jack 1. That is insane, now that I think about it. It's only been 2 years, and he's grown so much. But has he grown into a better person or a worse person? I mean, at least he talks now. We just found out that Jack's kind of a jerk when he talks. He's pushing people around. He's just always angry. He has the right to be angry because they tortured him for 2 years, and you know... He was just a traveler. He was a traveler and they, they treated him like a like an experiment. Like a toy. Like a Pokemon. Okay, that's just fun sometimes. You could do <coughs> you <coughs> Oh god. You could destroy people's vehicles and it it, it will not take send the cops after you. Unless it's a cop car. But it is super fun to do that. Just blow up a uh, blow up a few vehicles here and there. Kill a few civilians, like this guy. <laughs> that man is dead. <laughs> I have fun. I have fun doing that. So we're going to go back to Torn, or the underground's base right here. Walk down these stairs, and in we go. Hey there, Torn. Got any news for me? Woo! Being a big hero sure makes you think. That, you got that right. Ew, that is not water. <laughs> the Baron turned off all water to the slums. He's willing to sacrifice innocent lives just to destroy the underground. Holy crap. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen his evil before while serving in the Crimson Guard. You were a Crimson Guard? That's why I quit. You were a Crimson yeah, Guard? Yeah, exactly, Jack. <laughs> oh, that explains your charming sense of humor. My friend in the Guard tells me the valve to turn the water back on is located outside the city at the pumping station. Outside the city? What about the security walls? What about the metalheads? It ain't a petting zoo out oh yeah, Daxter's been here for two years, so he knows about the city more than Find Jack. Find a large drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open yeah. it. If you survive, the slums will be in danger. So we can see the shadow. If not, maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. I'd like to give him a touching moment. Damn, Daxter. So this game became a lot more quippy than the first. Holy crap. This is like night and day. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and go on our next adventure. We're going to the pumping station. But the pumping station is outside the city walls, which means that um, the creatures that these walls are holding back, the metalheads, will be out there. The metalheads, I guess you could say, took take the place of the lurkers from the first game. However, the lurkers were a lot more dignified creatures. They were more like, like animals. The metalheads are like animals, but they're more like a disease because they are strong animals that... Uh, have metal heads or their heads aren't actually metal but they're they have a very they, they have a very uh, distinguished head and you will be able to notice them very quickly 
And when you notice a dead metalhead, you better run. Or kill them, depending on who you are. If you're Jack, you kill him. If you're Daxter, you run. Unless you have, like, a... I don't know. Like a, a bug repellent. That'll kill him. Alright, so excuse me, Mr. Uh, civilians. Hello. Goodbye. Dead person. Hooray. How about you? Goodbye. Oh, I killed a person. Doesn't count. Since the car, the car's explosion is what killed the person, that means I didn't kill the person. I know. Weird semantics, but it works. Alright, so we're about to go outside the city walls. As you can see, we're at the very edge of the wall. And here we go. Oh, 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 I'm in the water. Whoopsie doodle. Let me get out of there. Come on, Jack. Let's go to the pumping station and let's fix our, our city's problems. So that is pretty messed up. The Baron tortures uh, the tortures us for two years. Shuts off the water to the to the civilians. Just, or to the slums because the, they want to get rid of the underground. Pretty messed up stuff. So this is a metalhead. Looks like a lurker, right? I can see that. Uh, except that head marking. You want to collect these. Make sure you get as many as possible. So th that head marking is pretty important. These are the most basic of metalheads. They're super weak. One, uh, they only take two hits to kill. Let me go ahead and get that precursor orb just because it happens to be there. Uh, there are no lurker sharks in this game. They're all, they, I guess they're extinct. Thank God they don't scare me as much. I mean, that they, they scare me way more than what's in this game. In this game, there are stuff in the water. That, uh, there are things in the water that will kill you, though. Uh, so don't go too far out in the water. Hello, creatures. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Killed some creatures there. We're going to go this way because this seems like the only path. There we go. Let's grab this precursor orb. Just because it happened to be there. Man, there's so much control in this game. It's so easy to do things. I love it. And I killed every single creature here. Get some more dark eco. As you can see by that dark meter, it's kind of hard to see, but it is filling up almost all the way. It should have made it so like it's purple on top of white, but it's purple on top of purple, so it's kind of hard to tell. Either way, I'm going to become Dark Jack soon enough. And you get to choose when to transform, so you can do whatever you want with your transformation. Get that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's an electric trap. No need to be... No need to be uh, overzealous. I don't need to go crazy. Let's kill all these creatures. Oh, my God. That feels so... The combat in this game feels so good. Every attack is flowing. I have the the sound effects on each hit. The controller vibrates on each hit. It's, it's so good, guys. I feel great. Being a murderer is great. And you know what? Jack's allowed to because he, he went through some crap. Oh, oh, that was the tongue I was talking about. Thank God I punched a dog hit. There we go. But yeah, that was the tongue. Don't uh, let that tongue hit you. I think it's uh, it's a two damage attack, so it's not the worst thing in the world. There are attacks that do more than that, so you gotta be careful. And there are attacks that do less. Like, these guys' bite attack only does one damage to you. Not many attacks only do one damage, but it, it happens. The most standard damage you'll take is two, is two damage per hit. And look at that. We can become Dark Jack whenever we want now. That's what that giant jack head means. And it stays in the corner like that. So collecting Dark Eco from this point on means nothing. Uh, you can't. E it actually doesn't even get attracted to you anymore. Wow, their bite attack only does one damage? That's that's weird. I thought it would do more than that. There we go. Let me grab this. Grab this health. Not like I really need it, but I grab it. And ma barely made that. Excuse me, pardon me. Nice to see you. Okay, you died by falling. Alright, nothing's working here. A lot of stuff's turned off, so I gotta go on this route. The first time I came here as a kid, I actually got lost because it's kind of confusing where to go. But uh, as long as you follow the path that seems the most likely, or the most open, that's that's how you find your way around. Speaking of finding your way around, this is the valve. Hello, valve. Hello me. Damn. Daxter. How the hell did Daxter not die? Hey, there's precursor ore back there. Don't even chuckle. Next time, you turn the That's right, Daxter. It's I'm the one that's supposed to do that. Focus on things your the people your size can handle. 
And yes, that sounded awful now that I think about it. Okay, I got that precursor orb that we got to see during the cutscene. There's plenty of precursor orbs in this level, but I'm not going to get them all. I just wanted to get that one. Let's go ahead and go over here and go back to Torn, I guess, because we turned on the water. They deserve, we, they owe us a favor. Maybe we can see the shadow and figure out what's going on in this city. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I always, okay, this is weird. You see that symbol on the map? There's actually two symbols on the map. One of them to me looks like a dog wearing a bandana. I always thought it was that until I, re until I went into the room and realized what it really was. And then I was like, oh, I guess it kind of looks like that. But it always looked like a dog wearing a bandana to me. So we're going to go to the dog with the bandana symbol. But it's not a dog with a bandana, I promise you. What it actually is, is that. Do you guys remember these from Jack 1 that used to give us two power cells, but they were expensive as hell? Oh, okay, the graphics didn't load in there for a second. Well, I mean, they pumped me full of dark eco. So the precursors are still around, huh? My enemies, those and this world too. Metalheads, bring me 25, of 25 of their skull gems. And I will teach you how to control these so now you know why we need to collect the skull gems. So let's summon our dark power. Rawr, 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 rawr. Yeah, see, the graphics don't load in here very well. Once we collect 25 of them skull gems, we'll come back here. Uh, let's, uh, oh god. If we walk outside as Dark Jack, people are going to get scared and we automatically get a, a wanted rating, I guess. So it's going to be kind of bad. Either way, you know what, guys? That's going to be it. I want to thank you all for watching. I, feel, I think you guys understand the world of Jack 2 now. If you are interested in seeing this series, I hope you come along with me because I will be doing all the missions in this game, all the story, and we will be beating this game. It's going to be so much fun to see Jack in his darker iteration. So thank you all for watching, and goodbye.